So this is a Asus ROG Ally mining with nice hash. Is it worth it? Uh, no, not really. I mean, I have the mobile dock, which is a RTX 3080 XG mobile station. Uh, I mean, the most I've seen it go up to was like 96 cents. So no, it's not worth it. I'll show you my settings. Um, so this is just pretty much for the CPU overclock. You have to have the fan maxed out, which you can see over there. And then for the XG Mobile, turn the base clock all the way down, turn the memory all the way up, and turn the GPU power save to the lowest settings. And turn the fan up, and yeah, it sounds like a rocket ship going off. So, is it worth it? No. Can this thing gain? Sure can. Especially with the mobile dock. You can pretty much run any game, maxed out settings, all the way up to 4K, and definitely get 60 frames a second. But, I mean, even without the mobile dock, this thing is pretty decent as far as gaming. But that's pretty much it. And I'll show you uh, what the speed on Dagger Hashimoto. It's pretty much lap, you might as well say laptop speed. I mean, I was getting that out of a 3070, I think, when I had um, a laptop doing it. So it's about the same speed. And for CPU mining, I had to use two separate versions of nice hash only because for some reason the quick miner didn't want to work with the cpu so i'm just using both versions the full installation version and quick miner so the full installation version is taking care of the cpu mining and the quick version is taking care of the gpu mining so that's using nano miner let's see if i'm not mistaken right there I've seen it go up to like 18, so I don't know. And I mean, with the fans maxed out, it's pretty, with the ambient temperature in here, it's like 72. I mean, the temps are pretty good all around the board for the CPU and GPU. So, but yeah, <laughs> don't mine on it because you ain't gonna make no money. Thanks for watching.